Hazard Heritage Listing. And that is a list of the places which are considered to be the most important to identify what makes the nation. There are only 103 items on that list for Australia. And Broken Hill is the 103rd item. It was together with Peter Olson and Simon Molesworth that we felt that this place really had something special going for it. We needed to do something to ensure that we took Broken Hill out of the, the risk category into one where its future was assured by focusing on its heritage. The mines go up and down. Tourism and lifestyle, way of life, are its future. And so it's really about telling the story of the development of Broken Hill and why it's special, which is its future. I said, look, there is no doubt in my mind, having been a heritage commissioner for five years, that Broken Hill ticks all the boxes in my view. There are some great cities and towns in Australia that are associated with the mining industry, but Broken Hill has those other unique aspects. Partialism was the labour movement, it was the art world that well and truly pushed it over the line the world's largest two mining companies, BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto, both had their foundation roots in this city. It was a tin pot mining town when it started. The disparity between the rich and the poor was huge. The poor were exploited, the conditions were appalling, many were dead by the time they were 30, and meanwhile the shareholders just got richer and richer and richer, so it's no wonder the unions developed here. During the strike, the 1909 18-month strike, New South Wales government sent troopers to Broken Hill to force the workers back to work because the New South Wales government was going broke. New South Wales owes Broken Hill, can I tell you. The, the Labor Party here too owes a lot to its origins. Our Labor movement is actually older than uh, England's. You can look at your uh, Bendigo's and Ballarat's great historic centres, but uh, none of those centres developed their own set of social mores and social values that were developed here in Broken Hill under the leadership of the trade union movement. There's no other logical reason that this place should exist other than, than mining. Who would have thought you'd, you'd have even a, a thriving art community in a mining town? It just doesn't make any sense. It's an enigma in a way, isn't it? I can't think of another city in Australia where there is that wonderful mix of high quality boom style buildings around 1890s all sitting in one city block. It's just wonderful sitting up on the top veranda looking out over all those public buildings. We nutted out a plan to have Broken Hill nominated and then we put it into the federal government 10 years ago. At least five heritage ministers later we finally have it. So I get so proud and so um, so so passionate about my city. So I gave a little, a little fist pump. Yeah, I mean, the first city in Australia to be National Heritage Listed, entire city. I threw out a challenge on, on the Tuesday that we, uh, that we become National Heritage Listed and said our next challenge now is to become World Heritage Listed. My own uh, belief is that Broken Hill has a soul. It actually, it actually has a soul. It has a purpose for being here. And uh, that 130 year history has really made it what it is today and you can feel it in the people, you can feel it around you, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a living thing. Not many cities, not many towns can actually um, claim that.